Hello, hello. My name is Anatoly Resin, and I am the chief blockchain architect here at Parsec. Today, I will demonstrate how Parsec monitoring works. To start, I will log in at beta.parsec.io. Those who don't have an account yet can sign up here. I am registered already, so Anatoly at Parsec.io is getting in. Here, we have just one button to create a new project. This is what we need for now. For this project, we will be spying a bit on Binance. We will select a pre-made template. We'll call it Balance Changes for an address. We'll name our project as Binance Spy. Next, it is a rather simple template, as all we need is to enter an Ethereum address that we will further monitor and configure a few additional parameters. We will take the address of Binance One account, one of the most common Binance hot wallets. Now, let's fill those parameters, a pair of thresholds and corresponding messages. First, a deposit threshold, which can be left at zero for now, meaning that any deposit with amount higher than zero will trigger an event and cause a notification for us. Plus, will work out nicely as a deposit message. In case more than zero ether is withdrawn, we will receive a minus message. Now let's finally create a project. I will disable this switch, since I don't want my smart contract trigger to be deployed immediately. I'd like to take a look at it first. And this is what we have here. Trigger section now has a balance change smart trigger. You can create additional triggers if you need. Let's step into it and check out the code. As you can see, this code does not contain any of the messages or addresses that we entered a while ago. This is because all those values have reached my user data as variables that we can reference from the code. This smart trigger accepts all native events from the stream of Ethereum transfers, where either to or from is my Ethereum address which is currently set to the address of Binance One's hot wallet. Then we simply check that in case the two is set to our address, then a deposit has happened. And if the deposit amount exceeds the deposit threshold value we have previously entered, we can emit the following event. And if the transfer events from address is Binance's, then we emit another event. Now with the withdraw message. This is how the parseql code of our smart trigger looks. We could deploy it right away, but before that, we will configure the transport so that it will be responsible for the delivery of the emitted events. To achieve that, let's visit the transport section and create one. Currently, we support Telegram and webhooks. I will select Telegram for the showcase purpose and name it Anatoly Telegram. Later, I can easily reuse the transport for other smart triggers. Here, we can either scan the QR code using a smartphone. By the time you will be watching this video, this QR code will become inactive. Or we can connect to the Telegram account through this button. It works for Telegram desktop clients. Let's try this. We are prompted to open the Telegram app, which is basically a desktop client for it. Here, we get a new chat with our Parsec dev bot. We have to initialize the chat by clicking Start. My phone also gives a buzz, since all of it happens at the same time. We have our Telegram account connected. This means the Telegram transport is configured and active from now on. I will go back to the Parsec portal and check the status of the transport. As expected, the status is connected and now I can go back to my trigger. 
Before finally deploying it, I will have to set up the delivery channel using the newly created Telegram Transport. I select Anatoly Telegram Transport and specify a template for the message to make it more readable for humans. I'll call it event. Now I have to check what property of the event contains the message text. Obviously, it is a message property. Together with from, to, and formatted from way to Ethereum value property, we will get all the info we need. The template seems to be correct, and now we're all set. Here, we have a delivery channel based on one of our Telegram transports. Any transport can have many delivery channels connected with different triggers. This increases the reusability. Back to the code editor, and we're ready to deploy a smart trigger to our environment. In the status console, we have a log entry that the smart trigger was deployed successfully. Let's open up Telegram to take a look. Wow, just look at this. We already have some events coming, and we can explore them further. Here, we can check the raw event. Compare the raw JSON of some event to the readable text of a notification in the Telegram, representing the same event. This is how you can benefit from using templates. I will additionally make myself a tiny transaction to the Binance One address using MetaMask. As we remember, the user data contains all the data that we have previously entered. One of the user data variables contains the Binance One address. If required, it can be edited. And now, I will make the transaction itself to that address with a tiny amount of crypto. For example, an amount of 0.00007733, Ethereum would be sufficient and we could easily distinguish it from other transfers. We'll choose the fast deposit. Next, I will confirm it and open up my Telegram desktop app. We got it here. Event plus from my address to Binance's one. The amount is exactly as I have entered it in MetaMask. So this is it. Thank you for listening. Feel curious and want to learn more? Check out our documentation at parsic.io slash docs. Register at beta.parsic.io and try it out. Happy trigger coding.